this election, many progressive leaders were elected to Congress. I feel excited and hopeful and maybe even a little jazzed. This week, I spoke with one of those new officials, Congresswoman-elect Cori Bush, about what she hopes to bring to the House. COVID numbers are soaring and my pre-Georgia election anxiety is kicking in. It has not been a good week for Sam B. But the silver lining is I got to sit down and talk with Congresswoman-elect, single mother, nurse, pastor, veteran Black Lives Matters activist, and the first black woman to represent Missouri to Congress, Cori Bush. Congratulations. Thank you. You won a seat in Congress <laughs> and yeah. you're the best Bush to ever be elected to office. We're reclaiming the name. <laughs> you are, you truly are reclaiming the name. What are you looking most forward to in your freshman year? Just St. Louis being excited again about who represents them. Yes. I know what it's like to be hungry and not know where my next meal is coming from. Know what it's like to be low wage. Right. And so being able to take that knowledge and use that to inform policy. I'm at the point of like the sky is not even my limit. We're going for all of it. <laughs> I'm worried for your optimism. <laughs> Look, Samantha, I'm a Black Lives Matter activist <laughs> and somebody who's been <laughs> evicted and I am in <laughs> Congress. I'm getting sworn in here soon. So I have to be optimistic. Look what just happened. As an activist in Ferguson, Cori Bush needled politicians to create real change. But what happens when the needler becomes the needle -y? Is that a word? How are you going to measure success as a congressperson versus success as an activist? As an activist, I could push and push, but there had to be somebody else who would actually do something to make sure that the resources right. were brought in. This way, I can do both. So I will measure success in knowing that I was able to help a family to not only eat for today, mm -hmm. but eat for tomorrow. You measure success in such an inspiring way. I measure success by how many new gray hairs I have. Well, then I'm really successful. Let me tell you, if that's how you measure success. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of politicians measure success in terms of plum golf invites, pens from bill signings, and stock tips. <laughs> Kelly Leffler, which means many elected officials continue to neglect Americans as the need for COVID relief increases. So how can the rest of us step up? Every Everybody has a gift, something that you can give to the world. You know, you may knit. So knit some stuff for people and make sure and, and go out and hand it out to our unhoused population. Like everybody has something right. and allow it to be a sacrifice. People are sacrificing that don't even have it to sacrifice right now. So if you have it, let's go that extra mile because the hurting okay. that people are feeling right now leads to death, which is final. Yes. Okay, you're like totally melting my congressional skeptical heart. <laughs> I love it. But I don't love all the Democratic drama that's going on. Honestly, we could be just days away from finding a burn book in the halls of Congress. There is disagreement within the Democratic Party right now. How do you feel like we should address that? It's kind of like when you argue with your family, you know, you still get together for dinner. <laughs> right. There may be some infighting, but we're still able to work together. And then the big things, we can work on that after we make sure that people eat and have the COVID testing they need and get some stimulus money in the door. Right, like if we don't get a stimulus package on a scale of barbecue at an airport versus barbecue in DC, like how much will that suck? I'm gonna say barbecue in DC. Oh no, no! But just like I'm optimistic about getting a package, I'm optimistic okay. that I will find some Good DC barbecue. I'm a St. Louis girl, I gotta find it. I want that for you. <laughs> One thing Cori Bush does not have trouble finding is style, and her style is making headlines of its own. Why did she share her thrifting with America? I wanted people to feel like it's okay to just be a regular person because that's who we're representing anyway. And I had some pretty bad doggone you know, blazers. Hey, I thought blazers were my thing. Anyway, watch out, DC. Congresswoman-elect Cori Bush is headed your way. And <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Tim Gunn from Project <laughs> Runway. What are you doing here? Uh, what? Cori, what? I am such a huge fan of you and your policies and your style. And I'd love to ask you, uh, what oh thrifted item has stirred your heartstrings the most? I love things that sparkle and I'm and I like blazers. So blazers, slacks, skirts, dresses, you know, I'm all of it. If I see it and I like it, you know. Excellent. And I have to say, initially there was a discussion about, well, maybe 
I could work with Corey. You don't need my help, but Samantha. <laughs> yes. Give me a call later, and we'll see if we can do something about your look. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, <laughs> I think this is a good place to end the interview. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit subscribe and leave a pleasant comment below. Let's ride out the rest of this nightmare year together, okay? Okay? All right.